Hey guys, we're back here with uh, uh, Leah Fitch, and we also have Renee uh, Labri uh, Shanker. Shanks. Shanks. My close, bad. Close. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> and we are here with Missoula Asian Services and the uh, Missoula Forum for Children and Youth. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are teaming up mm -hmm. for a prescription drug task force. And you also were gonna we were gonna have an officer on here to talk a little bit about this, but um, what do you guys have to say about this program as well? Sure. Well, I'll start off to say with Missoula Aging Services, all of our programs are geared around promoting the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. And our one program, SMP, stands for Senior Medicare Patrol. Right. It's statewide, and its whole vision is empowering people to prevent health care fraud, waste, and abuse. And the Prescription Drug Task Force fits into this because we spend about $1 for every six on prescription drugs in Medicare. And when we talk Medicare fraud, you think the Environmental Protection Agency costs us $3 billion a year. Medicare fraud costs us $60 billion a year. Wow. Yeah, so it's huge. And if we can stop it at the person, you know, the people level, yep. we can put an end to this. Yeah, and this could have an overall uh, um, reactive um, approach to affect everybody in a positive way. Correct, mm -hmm. correct, yeah. So uh, how do people kind of like get involved? It seems like it's very kind of like ongoing for sure so so yeah so um the missoula forum for children and youth we run the uh, missoula prescription drug task force um that started in 2014 and it really was in response to you know um, prescription drug um, overdose and um, a rise in um, specifically adolescents using prescription drugs without a doctor's um, um, advice. So um, in about 14% of adolescents in Missoula actually um, misuse prescription drugs. Um, and that's pretty consistent with the rest of the U.S. Um, and so, but what we found in, in the last year or so was that um, in terms of uh, looking at ER statistics, um, for overdoses um, and misuse, we're actually seeing a rise in seniors misusing uh, prescription drugs and opioids. So um, that's why we really wanted to team up with Renee and Missoula Aging Services because we really wanted to do some outreach to our senior population in Missoula to talk about um, the dangers of um, prescription drug misuse and really talk with them about like how can you make sure that you're not misusing and also how can you make sure that you are properly disposing of your medication and storing your medication mm. so well maybe um, you can answer some of those questions about like uh, disposal and um, some of the uh, statistics that are happening Right, the, uh, there is a rise in 55 and older, and part of that is the way our bodies react mm -hmm. uh, as we age. They react mm -hmm. differently with the prescriptions. Mm -hmm. So it's important to ask your doctor some questions before you take them, and don't be afraid to take them if you need them, mm -hmm. but you don't need to walk home with 30 pills just because you know it's a month supply it'll be more convenient if you mm -hmm. if you need them great if you don't don't mm -hmm. but what happens is people once they take them because they think they need to you can easily get addicted to them mm -hmm. and so maybe just ask say tell the pharmacist i only want seven days worth let's start with that and then you can always get more if you need them mm -hmm. and also it's important to know your pills there's been cases where folks have gone into homes and replaced them with look-alikes like there's a Tylenol pill that looks like an opioid. Wow. And next thing you know, um, you're on the wrong pain pill and you're not getting what you need. Mm -hmm. So if people need them, they should take them, but they should also know the risks and all the benefits and talk mm -hmm. to their doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and, you're, and also with, with the senior population, there is um, more of a chance of um, medications um, not working well together, and so that can be really a, a hard thing as well. So, yeah, yeah, and um, I guess the, the biggest thing is, like, you know, my grandma, she's, she's getting older and mm -hmm. older, and she's had some issues kind of like figuring out what she needs and all this mm -hmm. stuff. She's had help from her kids mm -hmm. over this time, but there's, it's really hard to kind of keep track of all just like something that you just don't really think about. You mm -hmm. know, like uh, taking pills, is like brushing your teeth you, you, a lot of times you just don't really think about it you just kind of just do it mm -hmm. not knowing that you're doing the thing because it just kind of reminds me of a story about when I got like a different mm -hmm. kind of toothpaste mm -hmm. my teeth felt worse without like is it uh, it was so weird because yeah. it, it's like you, tr you change even the, a subtle thing and you just don't know it because mm -hmm. a lot of times you just expect the toothpaste or the pills to work how they've always worked right yeah. right Mm -hmm. Yes, and your body builds up tolerance over time, and oh, yeah. there's all sorts of things. So it's so important. People should know that they're part of that equation. It's not just somebody prescribing it to them. They're part of that, and they need to communicate mm -hmm. how they feel, and if, if they feel it's not working as well, or 
or it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, not just taking them because they were prescribed. And I, and I really feel for a lot of folks who are in pain, mm -hmm. like, and they, they need these just to feel normal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what it is, is that um, that's it's so easy to get addicted to something because it makes you feel normal mm -hmm. compared to like being in pain. Yes. So, you know, what, what, like you have to balance the scales. It's like, do I want these drugs to make me feel not in pain so it's yeah. it's such an interesting thing for sure and then of course the up in dosage because you know they talk to the doctor about it a lot of times the, you know like it's like oh i take two pills because one pill's not enough anymore and then they up the dosage and then that's when these kind of things can happen mm -hmm. yeah and that's why we talk a lot too about proper use um, so making sure that you are following the directions of the doctors precisely um, and then if you need more that you talk to the doctor about that so right and that's the proper use and then proper storage is important because she mentioned the 14 percent of kids that are misusing part of that is they're getting into medicine cabinets yeah. and the pills of their grandparents or of their parents and they think that they're safe because because they're not street drugs, mm -hmm. you know, they're prescribed by a doctor, so they have this view that, well, they can't be that bad because the doctor right. prescribed them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess that's the other common misconception is that just because it's prescribed doesn't mean it's prescribed to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does right. that look at the camera? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, too, and also, the, um, like, for some of the younger kids that are accidentally using medications, so maybe they are finding medication, like, right. at their grandparents' house. So in, in half of cases where kids are sent to the ER because of, um, many, like, medication overdose is because they maybe got in their grandparents their aunt and uncle's uh, medication at home yeah so. and um, another kind of story I'm just kind of going off the rails is like um, you, you know like a fast food restaurants is doing this whole calorie counting thing where there's like they add the calories right there but then you have somebody who with type 1 diabetes mm -hmm. who looks up there and just like calories don't matter to them it's about other content mm -hmm. in, the, mm -hmm. in the food as well mm -hmm. so it's like you know what what you read and what you see mm -hmm versus what is being clearly displayed as well. Right, yeah. for sure. Yeah, well, and on that theme of thought, um, the kids, when they take a pill, they, they don't care if it's an opioid or a heart medicine or mm -hmm. um, a blood thinner, mm -hmm. right? They're yeah. just taking a pill here and a pill there, unbeknownst to the person who owns the pills, mm -hmm. and then throwing them all in together and just take them because they think they're pills. And yeah. they're, they're, who knows how they can interact once the kids get them. So mm -hmm. the proper storage is equally as important. Mm -hmm. And then the final one is the proper disposal. Mm -hmm. That's huge as well. Absolutely. And so Missoula actually has four prescription drug drop boxes where you can drop off unused or expired medications yep. just to make sure that there's less access for everybody else um, from either the kids around your house, from pets, um, are also just being stolen, right? Right. Um, and so uh, we have the four drop boxes. We also twice a year have a prescription drug take back right. that happens at the mall and people can bring in their unused and expired medications mm -hmm. cool. and one more thing we do have uh, disposal bags that are available so people can just dispose of it at their home now normally I wouldn't tell you to do that because you don't want to throw it away in the trash and you also don't want to flush it down the toilet because that can get in our water systems right, right? so um, we have these disposal bags that actually help you dispose of medication safely and Missoula Aging Services has a few and we mm -hmm. also do as well so if you're interested just let us know cool. so do you guys have any uh, events that are happening happening this month or is this more uh, of an awareness? Um, so right now we're just kind of working on a campaign. You might see a commercial or two um, on television. Uh, we have some brochures that we're making. Um, we're also going to be doing some training, Renee. Some presentations. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. We'll be doing to the senior housing facilities in Missoula and mm -hmm. areas. And so hopefully we'll be hitting everybody mm -hmm. by the time we're done with this. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, is there anything else you guys want to mention? I don't think so. Too bad Dean wasn't here with the police yeah. department because they have a whole other take on this and how it relates to you know keeping our community safe. Yeah. But if, uh, the proper use, storage, and disposal, and if people want information about that, to please call Missoula Aging Services or the forum. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Um, if you're interested in all about learning more about this, you can go to the Missoula Aging Services website, missoulaagingservices.org. Yes. And Missoula Children's uh, for, uh, for Children Missoula and Youth, which is missoulaforum.org. Dot org. Yeah. I know that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I Great. really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.